It's 2022, so really there's no reason you shouldn't be able to buy a black diamond from space and pay for it in crypto, right? People use the saying, out of this world, to praise something as exceptional. But at Auction House Sotheby's Dubai, officials are using the term literally. The company announced this on January 18th that it will sell a black diamond that they say is believed to have fallen to Earth from outer space. That would make it a literal out-of-this-world jewel. But is it possible? According to Sotheby's, the palm-sized black diamond is thought to have been created either from a meteoric impact or having actually emerged from a diamond-bearing asteroid that collided with Earth. Just for good measure, it was also listed as the largest cut diamond in the world in 2006 when it made it into the Guinness Book of World Records. The shape of the diamond is based on the Middle Eastern palm symbol of the Kamza, which stands for strength, and it stands for protection. With the Carbonado diamonds, we believe that they were formed through extraterrestrial origins, with meteorites colliding with the Earth and either forming chemical vapor disposition or indeed coming from the meteorites themselves. Sotheby's reiterated Stevens' comments in a press release, claiming the gem arrived via a meteoric impact. So this is a 555.55 carat fancy black carbonado diamond. It's also the largest cut diamond of any color that we've known to appear at auction. To have a natural faceted black diamond of this size is an extremely rare occurrence, and its origins are shrouded in mystery. Faceted black diamonds have previously sold for more than 10,000 pounds, or $13,600 per carat, according to Sotheby's. 38 million, 39 million, at 39 million, 39 million 500,000, 40 million, thank you, 40 million francs is already a record bit. Carbonado diamonds are extremely rare and are found naturally only in Brazil and Central Africa. Experts say study of the stone's chemical structure leads them to believe they come from space. Along with its carat weight, the diamond also has 55 facets. Facets are the flat surfaces of a cut gem. Why is it worth so much? According to Peter Henney, a geoscience professor at Penn State and a black diamond expert, black diamonds have high densities of opaque mineral inclusions, particularly graphite a dark gray form of carbon with a hexagonal structure, as opposed to diamond, which is a tetrahedral form of carbon, and metal sulfides. Last year, for example, in Hong Kong, we sold the Key 10138 diamond. It sold for $12.3 million, which was paid in crypto. Sotheby's describes the enigma as a carbonado diamond, a 19th century Portuguese term for black diamonds. Not all black diamonds are carbonados, and he clarified to Live Science. According to Henny, a carbonado is a type of black diamond that is both polycrystalline, multiple crystals fused into a single gem, and porous. Carbonado diamonds also have uranium-rich phosphates, which cause radiation halos to form around the pores, or holes, on their surfaces. This property makes them highly absorbent of white light, rendering them completely opaque and much darker than other black diamonds, according to Henny. Carbonados may have an extraterrestrial origin, as claimed by the auction house. Scientists have discovered black diamonds created by meteorite impacts in the past, but these diamonds are typically very small, making it an unlikely origin for true carbonados as large as the Enigma, according to Henny. I'd be surprised if a diamond that big came from a meteorite impact, he said. Other space-based theories speculate that fully formed carbonados could already exist in some asteroids that crashed to Earth or even that the diamonds are formed by powerful stellar explosions called supernovas. But there's not enough evidence to support either of those ideas. This is Richard Ketchum, a geoscientist at the University of Texas at Austin who studies black diamonds. He believes the chances of carbonado specimens we've studied and seen data for being from outer space are low. The idea of carbonados originating from space is the minority viewpoint among those who study them, he stated. Instead, Henny and Ketchum believe the most likely origin of carbonados is here on Earth. However, the exact mechanism that forms these black diamonds isn't yet clear. Most diamonds form when high pressures in Earth's middle layer, or mantle, crush organic carbon. But the oldest carbonados potentially predate life on Earth and therefore organic carbon, 
which makes it unlikely that they formed this way.